Okay, guys. Uh, I'm I'm here with nobody. I'm in a dark room by myself. The room is cold. Uh, this game is called Dark Room. Uh, I saw Nerd Cube play it on Three Free Games Friday, and he kind of just left it there. And I was like, "Come on, dude, you gotta play it so I get to know what to do." But he said, "You gotta play it to know how to how it works." So I was decided, "Okay, well, I'll do exactly that and play by myself." So I get that, that warm feeling. As I said that, it says there's a reason. So I guess the only thing to do is to light a fire. The light from the fire spills from the windows out into the dark. The fire is burning. So it seems like this might be a little timed. I don't know. I haven't really played this at all. Stroke the fire. The fire is roaring. Man. Last time I stroked a fire, my hand got on, got all burnt. Okay. I guess I gotta stroke the fire again. The room is cold, but the fire is roaring. As long as I'm close to the fire, I'm okay. And now we're in a firelit room, not a dark room. Might I add, a ragged stranger stumbles through the door and collapses in the corner. See, I'm a little worried because, you know, this little vagabond in the corner might be having a, a little shiv or something, might stab me. I don't know what he's doing. The fire's roaring, though, still. The wind howls outside. The wood is running out. Oh, no. So now I have a choice between to go to a lit room or a silent forest. The room is mild though. I think I'm gonna stay in here until my no. I think I'm gonna because what if what if like the silent forest is like too scary? So I think I'm gonna make the mild. I've, okay, the fire is roaring still. I'll see how the room feels. If it still feels kind of mild, then I guess I'll leave. So then it doesn't feel too bad. The fire is roaring. You gonna tell me anything else? Come on, tell me something. Tell me something good. Come on, dude. The room is warm. Oh, that's hard to say. Alright, so I guess since the warm... No, the room is warm, I'll go to the silent forest. Uh, the sky is gray and the wind blows relentlessly. Oh, okay, I'll gather wood. Dry brush and dead branches litter the forest floor. Um, oh, man, this one's taking a long time. Uh, you want to tell me something to do? No? Okay. I remember playing a game similar to this, um, as an Easter egg in, um, Black Ops 2, was it? No, it was in Black Ops 1, right? Yeah, it was in Black Ops 1 when you got out of the chair, and then you, uh, went over to the back, and then typed in secret codes, and you got to play the little, uh, mm, I'm using my hands to describe it, but it won't work, a uh, little text adventure, that's exactly what it's called, that's exactly what this is called, it's called a text adventure so I imagine it's kind of somewhere on that purpose but other than that it's, it's really different because this one you just click a button and then oh yeah oh no I'm, I'm not, oh no I'm still in the sound force but that one you had to type out everything and that one was a little difficult I guess I'm gonna gather wood some more oh I hope the little vagabond doesn't come out and snatch me up that's a that's the last thing I want to do <sighs> Okay, I'm gathering wood. This is taking a little while. This reminds me of the time that I was waiting for my shoes. Yeah, guys, I never told you that. I probably never told anybody that. Uh, Amazon, I've never had any problems with. Except for the other day. I ordered some shoes. And, uh, surprise, surprise, they came in. And I was like, oh, yeah. And there were some DVSs. I don't know if you know what those are. But they're skateboard shoes. Um, so then I ordered them. Got them in, open up the box, and I see that they're DVSs, and I'm like, yes, I can't believe that they're here. Open up the box, I see a DVS sticker, but other than that, there's nothing to do with DVS. Open them up, I ordered, like, DVS mids, and they were black with a gray little middle. They're called clips if you want to look them up. Um, and they were, I opened them up, and they were canvas, I want to gather more wood. Uh, they were canvas Supras, and they were low tops, not mid tops. I'm like, Supras, they make really nice shoes too. I don't know if you know them. They're kind of the more flashier side of shoes. Um, but I mean, they were real comfortable. And they were actually in my size 14s. Yeah, I know. I wear 14s. My foot's freaking ginormous. Is that the made up word? I can't remember. There's one made up word and there's one not made up word. Ginormous, is that the made up word? Because I know there's gigantic. Yeah, that's it. Because it's gigantic and enormous. Ginormous is a made-up word. And then there's, um... Yeah, gigantic's the real word. And ginormous... Yeah. 
Like, I was always told that ginormous was a real word. And then when I got to be about 10, people were like, I can't believe you're saying ginormous. That's such a made-up word. And I was like, no, it isn't. No, no. And they're like, yeah, dude. So then I went over to the person who told me my aunt that it was a real word. And she's like, yeah, it's a made-up word. I was like, are you serious? Uh, I guess we'll go back to the firelit room. Oh, man, I got do loads of wood. Oh, man. Uh, the stranger is standing by the fire. She says she can help. She says she build things. The stranger shivers and mumbles quiet. Oh, no. The mysterious wanderer. The wanderer arrives in an empty car. St says if he leaves with the wood. Says he if he leaves with the wood, he'll be back with more. Not sure. Oh, I don't have a hundred to give him. Um... Oh, shoot. Where was that? The stranger shivers and mumbles quietly. Her words are unintelligible. The stranger in the corner shot, stops shivering. Her breathing calms. Builder says she can make traps to catch any creatures. Still be alive out there. Builder says she can make a car for carrying food. A mysterious wonder arrives. Um, let's do that. You should make a cart. The rickety cart will carry more wood from the forest. Boom to bam. Too good at this game. I want to make sure that they're warm in the... Oh, man. It says down here that the uh, the room is hot. Not warm. Hot. Um, okay, are you going to tell me anything about what's happening? Is the card built? Uh, oh, okay. I guess it is. So I guess I'll go gather more wood. So then I can gather more. I mean... Oh, back to my shoe story. Uh, yeah, so then I got some Supras. And I, and I was like... So... Everything else was about it, ZVS. And it was just so weird, because I mean, I'm used to just opening up in a box, and it was like the real thing. But this time it was like Supras, and I thought my dad was playing a joke on me. Like, he already opened them, and then put some other shoes in there. But it turns out someone ordered both the DVSs and the Supras, and then return the Supras in the DVS box, not thinking anything about it. And then, you know, one thing led to another and it came to my doorstep. So, that wouldn't have been a problem if I could just return them, you know, and then get them in the same size. But in the right shoes. But they didn't have them in stock. So then I looked back and it turns out that the 13s and the 14s are in the same size somehow. I don't know. My grandpa used to be a shoe seller, and he always said, look at the European size, it'll give you a better idea of what size it really is. And so I looked at it, and they're both, the 13s and the 14s are both 48 and a half. That's like saying 12s and 13s are the same size, which, it doesn't make any sense. If they're both the same size, why would you both call them 12 and 13? Because, I mean, I've gotten some 14s that are 48s, and then I've got some 14s that are 49s, and then my size is about, like, 48 and a half. Uh, so, it's just really confusing that that would even happen. But then the, th the kicker, the real bad part is, uh, since it's different sizes that I'm ordering, because I'll just get a 13, because they actually had those in stock. Since it's a different size and a different shoe, then... They won't reimburse me with my money. So what I have to do is I have to return the shoes, get my money back, and then I have to order my new shoes. Let's go back to the to the firelit room. Um, builder says she'll there will be more wonders. Says it'll work too. Oh. Uh, let's make a house. Builder puts up a hut out of the out in the forest. Says. Word will get around. Oh, now I have a lonely hut. Man, this game is so fun. Uh, I know I'm only like five minutes into it, but either way. Um, so yeah, so then $60 or whatever. Uh, you know, I have to pay... Oop, scratching noises. Uh, some wood's missing. The ground is littered with some small teeth. Oh, okay, I got to keep the small teeth. Um, oh, there we go. Builder. Oh, man. Whoa. Did I get a weather family takes up one of the huts? Oh, so now I have like a, uh... Oh, that's nice. 
something in this room. Okay, so now I built a hut so then people can stay in there. <clears throat> Let's see if I can go in there to talk to people. A stranger arrives in the night. Oh, I don't. I do not like the sound of that. Uh, so yeah. So then I I ordered my shoes, and then one thing led to another, and then I have one pair of shoes, and tomorrow I have another pair of shoes, and I uh, like one hundred twenty dollars, which I know some people pay one hundred twenty dollars for shoes, but I mean I like getting the shoes cheap. That's why I ordered them off of Amazon. If I wanted expensive shoes, I would just go down to. I, yeah, I can't really get 13 size shoes. Unless I want basketball shoes, which I'm not a fan of basketball shoes. I'm sorry, guys, who are into basketball shoes. I much prefer skater shoes because of the the thick tread and how much comfort there is and stuff. I'm sure that basketball shoes are comfortable. They're just not my style because, I mean, I'm not into shiny stuff. And I mean, don't get me wrong. I mean, I like Nike and I like Adidas. Or Adidas, depending on who you are. Um... I mean, they're both really comfortable. I've had a pair of both. But, I mean, I just... I like Vans. Even though I haven't really had a pair of Vans in forever. And then I, I like Fallens. Oh, my gosh. Fallens are, like, the best shoes. My sh I got a pair... I don't, I'm don't. not really sure how shoe, shoe savvy you guys are. But I've had... I had a pair of Osiris's. Not the real flashy kind, but, like, a real-looking shoe kind. And those, I probably put... Man, like, maybe, oh no, a stranger arrives and I can, I don't like that. Um, can I actually go, no, I can't. Uh, like, I had my Osiris's, and it looked like I was wearing them for like a month. But really, I only wore them for a week, because like, all the stuff was falling apart on them, and they were looking really dirty and stuff, and I just didn't like that. And, I mean, they were comfortable, but my Fallen's I've been wearing for a year, and they were like, the Fallen's were more comfortable. And I'm sure people are out there like, oh yeah, you gotta break them in and stuff. Well, I broke them in. You know, I wore them for like a whole month. And they they still look even more worn down. And they were still not as comfortable as my, uh, my phones. The room is worn. Uh, yeah, stranger arrives in the night. I don't, uh, build a trap. Uh, through the walls, investigate. Vague shapes move just out of sight, and the sound stops. Okay, dang, we got a lot of wood. Um, so yeah, so then I got, and you know, I, I, I wanted some more Fallen's, but they quit making um, mids, and I'm really into mids ever since I got these pair of mids. And I just, I just thought I'd try out some DVS's, and if the DVS's work, then woo more more shoes but if the dvs's don't work then i mean i'll just keep wearing them until i need to get new shoes then i'll go back to falling uh yeah so i think that's my shoe story um i feel like there's a part of this story that i'm leaving out i don't know i feel like i've been talking forever uh, like i'm just boring you guys to death uh, I guess... No, I don't want to stroke fire. Oh! I've been saying that it's been stroke fire all this time, but it's actually stoke fire. I am dumb. So we'll put... We'll put one in there, and then we'll go back and... Check traps. The traps contain... Scraps of fur. Oh man, this one's gonna take forever, ever. Forever, ever? Forever, ever. Oh, that's nice. I did not know you could multitask like that. Tannery. Builder says the leather could be useful. Says villagers could make it. How much is a tannery? 500 wood! You're freaking crazy! <sighs> I know I got excited when I got 100 wood. A trading post? A trading post could make commerce easier. 400 wood. Ah. I need more fur. Can I make. Can I have multiple traps? Or do I... I'm gonna build another hut. A tiny village. And then I'm gonna make another trap. And then another one. So then I can catch more... 
Okay, so now this game is getting really serious. Um, a weathered family takes up one of the huts. Oop, I did not mean to do that. Darn it. Me and my clicking mouse. So now I have a tiny village. I think I used to have a small village. I want to change my firelit room to like a baller room or something. Not like a ballroom, but like a real room. Uh, oh, we're going to investigate it. Ah, small scales. Okay, so you're telling me a snake up and went and got some wood and then slithered off with it? Is, uh, is that what you're telling me? Like, last time I checked, uh, you know, snakes eat little mice, not wood planks. Get <laughs> him.